Hey you guys, this is Mika with Living with Mika, honey. So I am overdue, <laughs> past due, <laughs> um, trying to do this swimsuit try on haul for y'all. <laughs> But, you know, I think today was the last day of summer. Um, today was like 90 out. It felt like it was 100. And this is like, if I don't get these videos in right now, I'm just not going to get a bit, sweetie. I'm just not. So my husband, he's he has to work too early in the morning, you know. So I'm just, I told him just go on to bed. I'm going to go ahead and do it. So, um, yeah, you know, I'll let him rate it, you know, through the video or something. I don't know how I'm going to do that, but we'll figure it out. Um, but yeah, right now I'm just sitting here though, because I have promised y'all perfume once as well. Um, so I had some perfumes, pretty much all the perfumes that I bought, except for a few, I have not opened yet. So I said, you know what, I'll save them and open them with you guys. And then later on, I'll um, show you guys which ones that I have opened and which ones I like. And yeah, the, the, the ones that I'm getting ready to show you guys right now, I'm a little nervous about because um, I haven't even smelled them. <laughs> They really didn't have samples in uh, Sephora. So you guys know Sephora is leaving JCPenney. So Sephora is going to be moving to uh, Kohl's. Well, they I think they have already moved to Kohl's. So, um, yeah. So, yeah. Sad to see them go. I enjoyed their discount, you know. Um, but, yeah. So I binge bought tons and tons of perfume and some makeup pieces as well from Sephora uh, that before they sold completely out pretty much right now they've sold completely out so um, and they're not really restocking because they like I said have already moved to Sephora uh, Kohl's so Anyways, the ones I'm gonna show you what I can pronounce right now, um, cause I, I I've been I've been stumbling over my words when I'm trying to pronounce the um the words to this this these perfumes, but <laughs> I got some of that bum bum cream, you guys, that everybody keeps raving about, and I was able to get my hands on it. I don't have the receipts for anything I bought. But I just want to let you all know that I did not pay regular price for anything that I have bought from Sephora or JCPenney. Because I get a 25% discount and pretty much I use rewards and I use coupons for everything. So I don't have the prices. I really apologize, but most definitely did not pay the regular price. Um... Let me see. And I really do like the way this smells. I don't know. To me, it just has like a, a fresh kind of Hawaiian type of scent to it. I can't. This is the. This is the eight fluid ounces uh, container. So, yeah, um, I have heard from another YouTuber, I guess, you know, she used to rub this on, she rubs this on her body and then she sprays her perfume fragrance on top of it and it's supposed to last, you know, for hours. So I can't wait to try that. Um, yeah, infused with all powerful garn, garn, Garanina extract. <laughs> Garanina extract. Okay, so now I'm about to stumble over my words. Uh, Y'all, I'm not the best word pronouncer and I'm not the best reader. So, excuse me, bear with me. This one right here is something that's easy to pronounce and it is the Gucci Bloom. First, I'm going to open them so that the process 
goes a little faster, hopefully, and easier. There we go. Because I want to get those swimsuit try-ons in, too. So I need to speed it up. I'm doing too much talking, as usual, when I come on here, you guys. Oh, okay. This is the Gucci Bloom, you guys. It's in a pink bottle, like a really light pink bottle. It's pretty. <laughs> You guys, the good girls, oh my God. So I end, I did end up going and buying another one of the good girls. It's the one with the glitter. It's black and it has like the glitter. Um, anyways, the two black ones are my favorite. That red one, mm -mm, not at all, not at all. But her bottle's pretty though. I'm gonna spray it on, here I'll spray it. Yeah, I can spray it on the paper or, yeah, I don't wanna, I have four of them to spray, so I'm gonna spray it here. Yeah, smells nice. Um, I'm not a professional here, but I think she smells. It's it's kind of florally, like a floral, but but it's not a lot of floral because I don't like floral. But this does. It smells nice. I see why it's bloom. You know, when it says bloom, it smells like I'm in like. Oh God, some, it smells like flowers. It does, but not bad. And I really don't like floral scents. So I'm really shocked that this smells really good. I really, really like this one. So this one is the Gucci Bloom. Oh, she doesn't have a magnet lid. Gucci Bloom, but she's, 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 I like her. I like her. She's a nice scent. So we're going to go ahead and scoot her to the side. And then I'm going to do the Foreo. I can't pronounce it, you guys. I will put it up on the screen. Maybe you can help me. I think I got it, girl. I think I got it, girl. Y'all help me out. I think it's Furrier. It's Neterior de Furrier. Um, and she's like a... They really do look like they the same color, you guys. They look like they the same color. They are both bloom, but like I said, they have that name on the bottom, which it has little butterflies on it, and this one doesn't. So I'd be surprised if they the same uh, black spray thing here. So let's spray this one. I'm so interested to see what this one smells like. Oh, it's got a must, musk kind of smell. A little musk, a little musk. I smelled that right away. It's got like a little musk type of smell. Yeah, this is about all I can think of. It's strong, but not bad, you guys. Like, I would wear this. I can't believe it. So far, I'm I'm getting some good ones, y'all. So far, she's not bad. She got that kind of somewhat like mature, like grown woman smell. I'm, you know, like you know when you put this on, honey, you, you gotta be <laughs> dressed to impress, honey, and ready, ready, you know, just ready to be able to steal the room, steal the, you know you know steal the room yes grown woman vibes with this one grown woman very grown woman vibes you guys i'm gonna have to uh i'll probably put a picture on the screen for you guys because right now i don't think you guys can see me too well all right so this is another one that's pretty much the same color you guys and this one is Ambrosia, Ambr Ambrosia, Ambrosia, the Fourier, Fourier, Fur, Furier, 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 Furier. I don't know what that word is. I mean, you know, it's gotta be some. Oh, okay. So I uh, um, it's it's a red. It's a red bottle, guys. I thought it was gonna be the same color because it's kind of. 
you know what guys i think the manufactory f messed up with these no they didn't they didn't or did they because you know what that red the red one should have went with the that box Yeah, it looked like to me. No, they didn't mess up. That's just how they did it. That makes no sense to me, though. I would have put the red one in this box right here, the Gucci Bloom. Yeah. Oh, well, it is what it is, girl. It is what it is. It's weird, though, how they did that. You would have thought the Gucci Bloom would have been in this one. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and smell it. It came in kind of like a pink colored, a pink colored uh, box with flowers on it and, and a, a little butterfly. So let's go. She is red. And to me... Red means sexy. I don't know. I, I always say red is a very sexy, seductive color. So let's see. I'm so scared. I hope I like it. Not bad. See, you know what? Uh, one of the girls that work in um, Sephora, I can't remember her name right now. Sweet girl. Um she when i told her i bought all four of these and she was like did you like the smell on them i said honey i didn't even get to smell them i said i just got them because i knew if i didn't get them they was gonna go fast and they didn't have samples out but they was gucci and i was like mm, shoot i'm getting these and i like it i'm trying to She's a fun, fun smelling um, fragrance. Oh my God. Young, young. Man, young and fun. She kind of smells sweet too. So that's what I'm having the issue with because she smells sweet. Oh my God. I love it, you guys. I, I I can't complain at all with her. So this one is the Ambrisia Furrier. Fury. Furrier. Love it. Love, love, love this one. So far, I love them all. So far, I love them all. I'm so happy to have the collection. Um, there is one that I've been I've been seeing the other girls haul. I think it it might be a newer one, but now that I've smelt these, it makes me want to it makes me want to go get that one. It's over. It'll I'll probably go over to Ota and smell her because I'm sure Ota has her. This one right here is the Perform Performo Performo the fury fury i think that's how you say it guys fury and it's a yellow and black box and pretty much again the flowers and the butterfly i love the color i love the color girl that 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 yellow and black boy i like that that's iowa hawkeyes honey what's well, iowa hawkeyes is gold and black but yeah, this is close. <laughs> but because it, it's gold and black, but it still looks yellow and black. Um. Anyways, I'm getting ready to smell this. I'm hoping I like it again. I'm getting so nervous because I just I don't want to have a bad fragrance. I already have one with that red high heel shoe. Good girl. I do not like that smell, y'all. I, 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 I don't know what to, how to say it, but I just don't, I don't like it, personally, me. Um, but I'm sure a lot of people do. A lot of mature women do. Oh, gosh, she smells strong. Yeah. 
And once again, you guys, I like them all. Is this one my favorite? No, she's not. But I can tolerate her. She smells good. <sighs> Trying to get the scent. Trying. I just, I don't know. She smells good, but I can't really describe what I would think she smells like. She's strong. Oh, wow. Yeah, I, this is another mature scent, you guys. She's strong, though, so you can wear her. And she gonna stand out too. She gonna catch the eyes of the room for sure. Yeah, she gonna catch the eyes of the room for sure. She's strong. But not bad. Not bad at all. And I thought that these were really, because they say bloom, I thought they were gonna be so floral. So floral. I don't like floral, floral scents, you know. But these weren't bad. I like the Gucci's, you guys. I like the Gucci's. And I am very, very happy that I bought all four. I'm so happy I bought all four, y'all. <laughs> One of the ladies, she was like, are you sure you want these? Or you don't even know what they smell like. I don't care. I want them. I have a Poshmark. If I don't like the way something smells, I'll just throw it on my Poshmark. And I'm really thinking about doing that red high heel shoe, uh, good girl. But I like the way the heel looks. So it's kind of like I'm keeping it for the look. If that I know that sound bad, but it's pretty. <laughs> it's a red high heel shoe. It's gorgeous. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to sell her or let her, but yeah, I, I don't know. But let me get the moving on. I'm going to get these bathing suits going and I will be right back. Okay, you guys? Be nice to me. I'm, I'm kind of... Um, oh, no. Hold on, you guys. I have one more thing I wanted to show you guys before I got to the bathing suits. Hold on. All right, you guys. So... I didn't show you guys what I had got from the boot barn that day and because I went out and stuff. So this belt buckle I got and has the big old chunky um, belt buckle. And I love everything rhinestones. I got another belt upstairs that has rhinestones going all the way down it. It's another Western belt. And... Um, Y'all, I can't remember how much she cost. Uh, you know what I'll do so that I'm not rushing to find prices? I think I'll just put it on the screen, okay, guys? That'll make it a lot easier on me. But I just really wanted to come in and show you guys what. And this is a size small, you guys. This belt is a small. <laughs> I could not believe I was in a small, honey. I The last one was a medium. And oops, the button came undone here. This, you guys, is a small. Look at that. <laughs> this is a small. <laughs> and honey, talking about small waisted, girl, my waist is, I don't know what's going on, but it probably looked big on the screen, but my waist has gotten really small but like i said i feel bloated today i don't know probably time to detox yeah but uh that's the belt buckle i got that day and then i ended up going with the yellow pants you guys the yellow bell bottoms i did end up going with the yellow bell bottoms you guys these pants was 59 dollars and 99 cents it's a, i like you i like the distress the i love the distress in the um i hope you guys can see that um but yeah it's expensive western wear is expensive it really is but um my husband loves it because it's just what he that's that's his favorite wear to wear so and i let him dress me whenever we go uh this shirt right here i ended up getting i hope you guys can see it it's the off the shoulder one with all the flowers i'm wondering if my light 
is my light too bright you guys let me try to turn it down because it does look like it may be a little too bright all right so i end up getting that one the off the shoulder shirt i like the fact that it has the elastic under here so i can kind of like fluff it up and stuff and then i can pull one shoulder off or both shoulders off and then it has the elastic in the arm uh the wrist too and it's see-through it is see-through and i just like her she has like a little bubbly like type of sleeve it's so cute this shirt is so sexy the material is kind of like a satiny type of you know sheer like satin type of material the this part right here is not see-through it's lined but the arms are see-through and i just think she's really cute and she goes really great with those pants and then i ended up getting this uh shirt it's the coors uh the coors um uh, rodeo shirt yeah coors rodeo shirt i ended up getting you know, Coors is like one of them old, old beers. And I, that's kind of what I've been drinking lately, actually, to tell you the truth. Probably why I'm so bloated. Oh, my God, my lighting. Probably why I'm so bloated. Been drinking Coors beer, y'all. So, but anyways, this shirt, it matches those pants perfectly. Because, the you know, the gold and the, the designs match the yellow pants. So, oh, I didn't tell y'all how much that cost. So this shirt was $29.99. And this one was $39.99. So, yeah, those are what we purchased. What my honey purchased for me at the boot barn. And then I already had, uh, uh, well, you guys see me wear that, that uh, tank top that tank top uh that that night got that from the boot barn too i can't remember how much i paid for it because i threw the tag away the night i wore it my husband was like don't forget to take that tag off so i took the tag off and threw it away but it's the jack daniels um uh like muscle t type muscle t-shirt type um kind of what i'm wearing now yeah so that was cute. Uh, a lot of people liked it, this shirt. And if I am mistaken, it probably was around $29 because their shirts run between, I think I got like three more shirts upstairs that were, I think they were like 25, 26. They run around that price. And then um, these are the Western boots that I have that I've had for a little while now. I hope you guys can see that. Because they are blinged out, y'all. Can you see them? They are bling, blinged out, you guys. So, yeah. Um, so, when I go out with my honey, I normally wear my Western boots. I also have a Western hat. That's super cute, too. If you guys want to see it, then I'll show it to you. But I didn't want to take too long showing you guys my Western gear. <laughs> So let me get these bathing suits going and I'm going to hurry up and close out, okay? I'll be back. Okay, you guys. Oop, let me move my chair. <laughs> okay, you guys. So this one... Oh, Lord, my chair looks so tacky. What is it? Okay, you guys. So this one right here is my first suit and it is made by Peyton Parker. So... Peyton Parker, that brand right there is what it's made by. And if you guys can pay attention to the back of these, that's how much they cost, y'all. Regular, regular price was $32 for, I'm not sure if that's the top or the bottom, because they're both mediums. And then one of the pieces was $36. And then I paid $4.79 for one and $7.19 for the other. Um, but I didn't even pay that because I get double discounts. So, 
something fell. So I get like, and I probably had coupons or something, you know, knowing me, you know, bargain shopper, honey. And um, yeah, so I can take this one and I can pull it up like that and tie it because it has the little drawstring and stuff. So yeah, this is her. This is the Peyton Parker one and it's the orange. I just thought it was cute. Orange, y'all. Like. How y'all like me in orange? <laughs> you know, and then that's the back. My little tushy. And yeah, got hips for days, y'all. I got hips for days. <laughs> but yeah, this is the first bathing suit by Peyton Parker. And I wish my honey was here to kind of, you know, rate, but it's okay. I know my light keep going up and down, y'all. I hope it's okay. I hope it's okay. And I hope you guys can see the bathing suit. This is bathing suit number one, you guys. I got quite a few. I didn't count, but I got quite a few. So I hope y'all ready to uh, check out my little bathing suits, honey. So, all right, let me get going on the other one. All right, I'll be back, guys. All right, you guys. So here goes bathing suit number two. It's a mix smack outfit because I got the top from Walmart for seven dollars and it was clearanced out oh and by the way the last one was a medium um the mediums i think i said that but yeah uh time and true and seven dollars on clearance and it is a large 12 um 14 for the top and then this one right here is i think it's i think they pronounce it mina or mina and this is JC Penny brand and it's a medium and on here it has $40 for the bottoms but I know I didn't pay that y'all. I know I got them on sale. But um I had to match. I bought the top first and then I just wanted some plain brown bottoms to go with the top but I could not find them anywhere. So I found this one at Penny's. I didn't like the top that came with these bottoms. It was kind of like a ruffle and it was off on one shoulder and on on one shoulder. And it was a big old ruffle like layer. It was ugly, but I thought it would look good pairing it with this top. So um, let me know how y'all like it. Did I do a good job pairing it with this top? <laughs> Cause I think it looks I mean, it, it, it's not great. I wish it was all brown, you know, and I probably will look, um, I probably will look later on, like maybe next year for all brown bottoms to go with this top. Cause I think all brown bottoms would look better, but yeah, let me know what y'all think about number two. <laughs> so I... The colors that are in the bottoms, like the orange and, you know, the light, those are in my eyes too. I did my eyeshadows in this color. Um, but yeah, <laughs> look, I had to talk about it, honey, because I sure did my eyeshadow with the colors that are in the um, top. It's so cute. But anyways, um, <laughs> yes, enough about the, <laughs> the eyeshadow girl. But anyways, yeah, so the girls are a year old, y'all. They turned a year old in August. And um, they have dropped now, so they're more in a teardrop shape that doctor said they they were going to be in. Uh, and yeah, I, I love them. They're soft like a gummy bear, you know, just soft. And yeah, I think they look great. And I'm really happy with my purchase and procedure. <laughs> but enough of those. Uh, anyways, you guys. Um, so I said I feel bloated here, but excuse me, this is my bathing suit number two. I had to get the, make sure y'all get all the angles, honey. Make sure y'all get all the angles. Cause your girl is feeling good about herself lately, honey. She's feeling real good and confident about herself lately. <laughs> but um, yeah, let me move on to bathing suit number three. 
And you guys feel free to rate me. I mean, you know, let me know which number look good. You know, what number. Woo, woo, woo. I mean, help me out. Help me out. My husband going to probably chime in too. So I'll probably put his uh, rates still in on the, on the screen. <laughs> All right, y'all. Let me get on number three. All right, you guys. Here goes bathing suit number three. And this one is Sonnet. Sonnet. Sure. Sign it sure. You guys, so funny because I thought this brand was St. John's Bay brand <laughs> for a very long time. <laughs> Don't ask me why. Sometimes dyslexia catches in and I just I don't know. I was. I don't know why I thought that, y'all. But anyways, it's called Sonnet Shore, and this was. This is the tag, and these are a size ten, which ten is pretty much a medium. This is the top. It was originally fifty, fifty four dollars, but I didn't pay that. Trust me. And right now, you can probably find this one at Penny's. Um, these are the bottoms. They. Uh, were a size 10 as well and the regular price on them was $50 so yeah but I didn't pay that trust me I didn't <laughs> um, and yeah so that's the brand right there and they sell them at JCPenney guys and I like the blue I like the blue when I saw the bottoms I didn't see tops to go with the bottoms at all. And I think I saw a lady try this top on in the fitting room. And I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute. That top will go good with them bottoms, you know? So I ran and got the top and the bottoms. And I had to purchase them as soon as I got off work, girl. And I I had, I had was going on a frenzy of bathing suits. like Just like I did with the perfumes, honey. I went crazy on the bathing suits. Soon as they started marking them down and going on clearance, I was snatching them, snatching them. My co-workers was like, girl, do you go swimming? <laughs> I said, well, we got a spray park right by my house. So I take Malachi to the spray park. And this is the type of bathing suit I will wear to the spray park. Really, I'm trying to get out of being so... um uh covered up you know uh for a very long time i always kept myself covered up trying to be so modest because i have a husband i need to be more modest but you know what you can still be sexy you can still be a wife a loving wife and still show off your sexy you know you do not have to dress like a nun just because you are married like come on man i'm getting out of that shell that i used to be in Cause I used to wouldn't even show a lot of cleavage, honey, but now I'm all out. I'm outside, boo. I'm outside. <laughs> so, um, yeah, but I used to, I, I choose to pick out things like this when I'm with Malachi. Um, I don't, I'll wear a two piece when I'm not with Malachi, but when I'm with Malachi, I choose to be a little more covered up. So this is something that I would actually wear to the spray park, you guys. Um, I would wear that orange one too. That orange one's safe. I would wear that too. Um, but yeah, let me show you guys the back. And yeah, so yeah, I look like a mom in this one, I think. I think I could be, you know, mom vibes in this one and be able to hang out with my son and not worry about falling out, you know, or having all this out and stuff, you know. But yeah, so... Let me know what you guys think about number three. I love number three. Number three may be my favorite, but yeah, let me know. I'll be back. All right, you guys. So this is bathing suit number four, pretty much red. Um, I have a costume that I want to, uh, it has to be redone. It's a Western wear. It has chaps and the butt is out in the chaps. So this is going to come in handy for the chaps because my butt is going to be out. Um, and then um, the, the shirt is pretty much a bra, but the, the, um, the hardware is, is ran down and has gotten old. So I have to take it to my seamstress and she wanted to redo it because it's expensive and it looks really nice. 
and I needed something to go under it. And yeah, it's a really nice, uh, I just need to get it over there now that I've gotten this bathing suit and let her go ahead and do her magic on the chaps and stuff. They have like little, fur, it's going to have like little fur on the front of here and little fur on the fur, like it's American flag uh, print and it has like, it's like a fur and she'll, what I'm going to have her do is just sew them on, sew the, the bra part onto here and then sew the front part onto here. It's really cute, you guys. But anyways, this is a, another this is another bathing suit I got from JC Penney's. It's not a it's a mixed set. Um, the top is a large, and I, it's outdoor oasis family swim wear. I don't know if you can see that, and it was sold for forty dollars. But trust me, I did not pay forty dollars for this. And also the bottoms are the Sonnet Shores again. And that's the brand. And it's a size 10. And it was sold for $50. And once again, I did not pay $50 for these bottoms. And I do think that's quite ridiculous, you know, for pricing on this much fabric, you know. So anyways, it is what it is. I didn't pay those prices. Uh, so anyways, how do you guys like me in red? <laughs> um, I love the bottoms. The, bl the blue bottoms I just had on are just, the, just like these. It's got the little ridging on each side. I like the rouging on, I like the rouging in the belly because it kind of takes away from, you know, your bloatness, you know? Um, yeah, so let me know how y'all like me in the red. Let me turn around so y'all can see me in the red. And here goes my back. Doesn't it look good, you guys? I love it. I love it. It's so nice. And, you know, there go me on the side. And here go me in from the front again. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think about me in the red one. And this is number, is this number four, you guys? I think this is number four. <laughs> I'm not keeping track. <laughs> I need to, though, because my husband's going to have to look at these. <laughs> yeah, I like the red one, though. The red one's nice. The red one's nice. Um, yeah, it kind of make me not even want to mess with it because, yeah, I like it, but... Yeah, and y'all can get, most of these are on clearance right now at JCPenney. You probably can even go on jcpenney.com and get them off the clearance. Um, y'all get in on them. We got a lot of them on clearance, and pretty soon we're going to be um, uh, getting rid of them. They're going to be, uh, what do you call it? Uh, uh, shucks, what did they call that? I forgot. You guys get in there, get these. They got them on clearance. Uh, great deals going on right now on these bathing suits. So that's that's part of the reason why I'm trying to hurry up and push these out to y'all so y'all can get in on these bathing suits. Look at me. I just love it, y'all. I'm just loving it, okay? Um, let me try on number five. <laughs> Be back. <laughs> okay, you guys. So I'm back with bathing suit number five. This is another one of those safe outfits that I I have actually worn to take Malachi and my granddaughter Anastasia to the spray park. This one has the little rouging on the side. I love it. The little rouge, the uh like little like little straps, little straps with a little knot. You know, it's like little knot on each side of the of the the bottoms. But yeah, I just, I loved it. It, it. I like the colors. I like the pattern. And I like the fact that it ties up here. You know, that's just a cute little, you know, that's cute. Um, this the, the sleeves on it is pretty thick. I like that. They're not cutting into the shoulders. So, um, yeah, this is by the Umbriel. It's, it's Umbriel brand. And there we are right there. That's the size. They are so the bottoms, I'm assuming, are probably a large. I didn't even check that. Sorry. Um, yeah. Or oh, the top is a large. Hmm, it would have been nice if I would have checked, huh? Um, 
I'll put it on the screen, you guys. Anyways, so one of them, you know what? And they were they were they were the same price. So they were sold for forty nine dollars. They were sold for forty nine. Where's that at? Forty nine dollars, both of them. And I bought them for seven dollars and thirty five cents a piece. Clearance. See why I got them? And they fit perfectly. I love them. The price, honey, the price. You know, now y'all see, I did not pay full price for none of this. <laughs> so here goes the side. Right there. And then my back. You can see my little tusher. And then my other side. How do you guys like this one? I like it. I think, I think it's it's safe. It's a, I like safe outfits. See, my husband, he likes me in two pieces, y'all. I'm sorry. My husband likes his wife to be sexy, okay? He loves me in two pieces. And this is a two-piece, but he likes me in bra tops and bottoms. But, you know, I, I'm trying to get out of this safety thing here. I've been wearing cover-up clothes for years, and I'm trying to get out of it. Um, but this is a safe outfit for when I'm with Malachi. I, I went to the spray park in this and I felt fine. Um, there were actually, uh, a family there, a man, a woman, and they had like three kids. And I'm telling you, I was all over that spray park, girl, getting wet, having a good old time in this. And I didn't feel uncomfortable. I didn't feel, I felt very, very comfortable in this. So, Yeah. Let me know what y'all think about this one. <laughs> and I'm going to move on to number six, okay? I'll be back. Okay, guys, I am back. So with this outfit right here, I'm really, really sad because I, like I said, I was Mitch, Mitch matching. Is that how you said? Mix matching. And I thought I had the perfect bottoms for this this top um, and the top that I have that I'm going to show you next. And those will be my last pieces. But it was some high rise. Um, they were high rise pink, hot pink bottoms. And they were made by, I want to say they were made by the Mina, Mina line. Man, I thought I had them. I thought I had them, and I've been looking all over for them, and I did not buy them. So I'm going to go back to work and see. <laughs> I'm going to go back and see if I can find them, <laughs> the hot pink ones. I, If I can find them in my size. I know that in the bottoms, I think, yeah, I'm a medium. So I'm going to try to find them hot pink ones in the in the. <laughs> If I can't find them, then I'm going to be on a hunt for them next year just to go with this top and the top that I have next. But this top that I'm wearing is I grabbed it because, like I said, it was cute. And I thought I had the padding in these be driving me crazy. They be folding up and stuff. Um, But, yeah, so I thought I had the hot pink bottoms, man. The hot pink bottoms was going to set this top completely off, like. I can wear them blue bottoms with this, though, that I just had on because they got the blue in them. I could actually get a light blue or the hot pink to, or some yellow bottoms even go. So I'm going to be on the hunt for something that's going to make this pop, this top pop, because I'm telling you, it's cute. I love it. It's got the, it's a, uh, the back is, the back is like this. Can you see that? Yeah, the back is like this. But in the front, it crisscrosses, you guys. It cr it crisscrosses in the front. So this side's wrapped over here, and that side's wrapped over here. It's really cute. So this is uh, a size 10. was sold for $50, $50, and it was by the Sonnet Shore. Again, Sonnet Shore. And that's the top. Um, so the bottoms that I'm wearing are... Um, mina bottoms they're really they're made the same as the ones i just took off with the ridging on the side and they're all black i had these last year i just threw them back out because they were all black they're kind of like 
you know, they're not all the way down to my ankle. They're a little, you know, bell bottomish. You know, they got the little like, I don't know, not bell bottom, but you know, they short. They like crop, crops. I think that's what you call them, crop tops or whatever. I don't know uh what you call those pants when they don't come all the way down but i like these a lot they're cute they're sheer to me um not showing too much you know so i mean even if i did want to wear a two-piece at the spray park and put these on i think i would still be safe and these are made by these this is a junior brand um and I and juniors I have to go up in size because you know they run small. But these are large and they were sold for thirty six dollars. And I didn't pay that obviously. And they're made by Decree, the Decree line. So yeah, you guys, um, they had these in white too. I think they had them in black and white. And yeah, I love them, you guys. I think they are just so cute. I would have gotten the white pair, but I just, I, me, I don't, when it comes to swimming and stuff, I just, I don't do white, honey. I don't do white. Yeah, and I just didn't want makeup. I, yeah, I, I, white gets stained too easy. If you buy white, like I got some white shirts that I purchased upstairs, little graphic tees. Honey, you wear them. I bought them for like if I'm invited to a, an event or something and I want to look spicy. But, you know, after that, it's going to turn into a pajama top because, you know, you can't wear white over and over again. So let me go on, you guys. I'm going to put on the next top and then I'm going to be done with this video, okay? And then I might do another video because there's a few more items I wanted to show you guys before I closed it out, okay? All right, I'll be back. All right, you guys, so I am back with the last uh, top. Um, I decided to take the pants off for this one and just wear the bottoms that I had last year, which are made by um, Mina as well as the top. Um, the top is a size medium, you guys. And she was originally sold for $40, but you know, I didn't get her for that price. She just doesn't have her price on here, but... Yep, uh, Mina is the brand of both of these. It's an underwire, so I'm not really a fan. Sorry, I moved my hair. I'm not really a fan of underwire. Uh, yeah, not at all. Y'all, excuse me. Hello. <laughs> my stomach, y'all. I need to tighten my stomach up, y'all. I'm thinking about going on a sit-up challenge. How many of y'all will go on a sit-up challenge with me. I, I want to tighten up my stomach. And so I'm kind of thinking about starting out with 10 and then, you know, one week do 10 and then the next week move up, you know, five more. So, you know, 15 and then the next week move up. Yeah, so move up each week five extra ones and just see, you know, if I could tighten this up because i need to tighten this up y'all I, I really persisted in tighten this up uh but yeah anyways here is the last piece i think this would be number seven you guys um so here goes the bottoms with the rouging that i was telling you about um uh, that i i basically had under the pants that i was just in um and let me turn to the side Ta-da! <laughs> no, let me stop. So, yeah, you guys, I'm really feeling myself in these bathing suits, though. And then that's my back, the back of the, um, the back, and then the other side. And then, yeah, here we are. So, I hope you guys enjoyed my swimsuit try-on. And if you guys like me doing things like this, let me know, you know, which I'm, you know, I enjoy it. I, I'm feeling more confident with myself. You know, I ain't got the perfect body, you know what I mean? But I'm happy with the body that I have. And I'm willing to work on the issues that I have. Because, honey, I need to tone some of this stuff up, honey. But, uh, yeah, y'all, um, probably getting ready to do another video. But please like comment and subscribe to my channel 
living with mika and my name is mika thumbs this video up share this video ah. <laughs> that's my daughter <laughs> oh yeah i'll have to edit her out but anyways thank you guys for watching again and please come back and join your girl and if you like videos like this let me know in the comments bye I'm gonna hold you in my arm I just wanna take this trust away from you